Let's go to number five. This uh, problem is about bearing angles. The following diagram shows uh, three towns, A, B, and C. Town B is a uh, nine kilometer from town A, which means uh, this is a nine. On a bearing of uh, 75 degree, which means this one is a 75 degree. Town C is a 13 kilometer from town B on a bearing of 107 degree. So we have here is 13 kilometers and this angle is a 107 degree. Find angle A, B, C. This angle is a we are looking for. Think about C. Letter C, you see here, this is a letter C. So think about letter C now. You see, this is a letter C. Therefore, let's label here is a theta. For this angle theta, we will use a 180 minus. A 75 degree because they are consecutive interior angles. So you get a 105 degree. Then angle A, B, C. We will use a 360 degree minus 107 degree minus 105 degree. So you will get a 148 degree. Let's go to 5B. Find the distance from town A to town C. First of all, we need to connect A and C. Then we need to label this is a 148 degree. We could see for this 148 degree is an included angle. For included angle, you got to use a cosine law. For the cosine law, let's write down c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Therefore, for ac squared equals, the corresponding angle is a 104 degree. Therefore, you will get uh, 9 squared plus uh, 13 squared minus 2 times 9 times 13 cosine 148 degree. You will get the uh, AC equals 21.2 kilometers. Now let's go to 5C. Use the sign rule to find the angle. A C B. A C B is this angle. We know this is a 21.2 kilometers. Therefore, for sine rule, we know is a A over sine A equals B over sine B. Corresponding size over corresponding angle. Let's define the variable first. Let angle ACB equals alpha. The corresponding side for this angle alpha is 9. So we will get the 9 over sine alpha equals. We have 21.2 over sine 148 degree. Then cross multiply. The same line with the variable go to denominator. So we have 21.2. 9 times the sine 148 degree. So you can write down alpha equals inverse sine of 9 times the sine 148 degree 
over twenty one point two equals thirteen point zero degree. Let's go to six a. A shape is sailing north from a point A towards point D. Point C is one seventy eight kilometer north of A. Point D is a eighty kilometer north of C. There is an island at E. The bearing of E from A is fifty eight. Degree. The bearing of E from C is one hundred twenty-four degree. This is shown in the following diagram. Find the bearing of A from E. According to the information, we know this is one seventy-eight. This is eighty, and this angle fifty-eight degree. This angle is one twenty four degree. We are looking for the bearing of A from E. So we will draw the north line here. This is north line. Then this angle we are looking for. Let's label as a theta. This angle is a exterior angle of uh, this triangle A E C. Therefore, let's label this angle is a uh, alpha. Since uh, this angle is a exterior angle of a uh, triangle, therefore, one twenty four equals fifty eight plus alpha. In other words, alpha equals one twenty four degree minus fifty eight degree, and this angle, let's label as a beta. For this beta, you could say this is a C. So we have a consecutive interior angles. Then we know one twenty four plus beta will be one eighty because they are consecutive interior angles. So for the six a, we can get the beta first is one eighty degree minus one twenty four degree. That is a fifty six degree. For alpha. Equals one twenty four degree minus fifty eight degree, you will get sixty six degree. So for theta equals one, so for theta equals three sixty degree minus fifty six degree minus sixty six degree equals. Two hundred thirty-eight degree. So the bearing angles of A from E is two hundred thirty-eight degree. Let's go to six B. Find C E. C E is here. We already know the alpha is a. Sixty-six degree. Since the sixty-six degree and a fifty-eight degree, they are not interior angles. So we have to use uh, since for this uh, alpha and a fifty-eight, they are not uh, included angles. We got to use a、uh, sine law. For the sine law, we know that is a over sine a. Equals b over sine b. Make sure it's a corresponding side over corresponding angle. Therefore, you will have one seventy eight over sine sixty six degree equals c e over sine fifty eight degree. Cross multiply c e. Equals 
same line with the variable go to denominator. So sine 66 degree, 178 degree, sine 58 degree equals. So you get 165 kilometers for say E. Let's label here 165 kilometers. For 6C, find DE. First of all, we need to connect DE. And uh, we already know this angle, 124 degree. And uh, for the CE, it's 165 uh, kilometers. So 124 degree is an uh, included angle. For included angle, you need to use the cosine law. For the cosine law, that is a C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Therefore, for 6C, we got to use the DE squared equals AT squared plus 165 squared minus 2 times 80 times 165 or cosine 124 degree for DE equals. So we have 80 square plus 165 square minus 2 times 80 times 165 times cosine 124 degree, enter. Then we will do the square root, second x squared. Drop this down here. Your answer will be 220 kilometers. So DE equals 220 kilometers.